Hammer and Hank Lundy took care of that business. Took care of the business. Let me see if I can get Hood on here. Because me and him both went along with... Uh-oh, what skill did hit me up with now? I'm going to have to check it out. But let me see where Hood's at. Where the Hood at? Get a Philly perspective on this. What's going on, man? What's good, boy? Hammer and Hank Lund. <laughs> Hank did his thing last night. Yeah, he did. The boy had. Yeah, I was just talking to him. I was talking to him this morning. He called me this morning. So when I told you, I said, yo, man, I was on the phone right before good, buddy. Yep. He put his thing down last night. But I told everybody, I said, um, you know, everybody was caught up in that. Uh, Joe was because he took a beating by Machete and he hung in there that James was going to be with him. But I told him, I said, listen, man, you know, a lot of things that y'all see from Hank, Hank getting knocked down and Hank not with me, a lot of that was for him to keep trying to stay at 135 pounds. And that was his problem. He couldn't make the weight no more. Yep. What was he going to do? What was he going to do? What was he going to do? He was a lot stronger. A lot stronger, man. Like, too strong as shit. A lot of people don't want it. Jamal said the same thing. He's strong as shit. It's just his troubles was him making a 135 pounds. That was, it was killing him. It was killing his body. Yep, and he looked, he looked every bit of a, like a welterweight last night. Yes, he did. Every bit of a joint welterweight. And his jab was working. His counter, his counter, uh, his, his counter weight was working. And the left hand was working. And oh. left people don't know he's so for real. Yeah, that boy was throwing a laser left. Ooh, we got up in that boy ass last night. We beat the shit out of that Josie last night. Yeah, he, he did. Him. He was beating her worse than um than Matisse. I'm like a Josie was getting off on Matisse. He couldn't get no rhythm on Hank. Nah, nah, he couldn't. But I mean, I, I can't say that because he, I mean, to be honest with you, the Matisse fight, he he really wasn't competitive. It was just he was just taking his punches. Then was surprised he took them punches because he clean shots he did get hit with, and he took them punches damn near as fast as he lost. But I mean, I, I gotta give it to Matisse because Matisse knocked him out, but. Uh, uh, Hank was really gave him a beating, man. Hank gave him a beat. Hank gave him one of what silly, uh, one of them South Philly ass whoopers. That's what he gave me. <laughs> 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 he gave one of them South Philly ass. I mean, uh, hey, I had it. One dude asked me a question. He was like, "Man, which one is uh, which one is the the best area for boxing, North Philly or South Philly?" He hear that all the time. Like, which one has the best fighters? Yeah, I mean. I know if niggas know because North so big, bro, man. It's a lot of motherfucking, you know, it's a lot of grimy dudes come out of North. See, I, I ain't from there. I'm from West. Like, um, I, I'm from West. They're Hank and all them, Hank, to be honest with you, Hank is really from West Philly. Hank was born in West Philly, but, you know, he moved over to uh, South Philly. So like, Hank from down my way. Hank from down 46th Street Project. Mill Creek, same where uh, you said Matt come from. B.Y. Jennings and uh, B.Y. Jennings is from um, North. Well, Danny, they from North of Lincoln Land, um, um, Hancock, Cambria, and all that, Fresh Street, uh, Dave Rosado, that's where they from. And, um, well, Petty Chambers, he ain't from Philly, he really originally from Pittsburgh. But he, he trained out down my way. Steve Cunningham from West Philly, too. From 60th Street, the moon. From about where, uh, where I'm from. But, uh, but it's, it's, man, it's a lot of dudes from out the city, man. A lot, a lot, a lot of dudes, man. Eat them up, man. 
not only just that, we still don't support motherfuckers. We don't support them. I don't keep real with you. You can be, you can be a, 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 a big time rapper. We look at you like, man, you're just a regular old person. <laughs> For real. But I'm, I'm happy, I'm happy to have you, man. My good friend, man. You know, he's doing his thing. And that's good, man. We got back on the net. I always told him, man, stay out of 135, man, and you'll be good. So now he at 140. Would love to see him move on and take some more some of some other shots. I would love to see him in there if Lamont can make the weight, which I which he probably can, but I would love to see him in there with Lamont. Now he, they were talking like about him. getting him in the in the ring with the winner of Matisse or the loser of the Matisse versus uh Danny Garcia oh, yeah. fight. Yeah, yeah, no question. Ain't no question. Ain't no question. I'd love to see him in there with the loser of the winner, but right now he ranked number three in the WBC. Right. Um, he ranked number three. He took a joke thing, right? He, he number three in the WBC. But he said, you know, uh, he might go after the IBF ranking because they don't feel like Pearson going to have that belt too long. He going to wind up giving it up. So that's his thing right there. He might go for the WBC. He might go for the IBF title. But, I mean, that, that, that's also a good look. That's also a good look. You know what I mean? So the, the winner... Cause uh, I mean, I'm being honest with you. Where Danny and Matisse is gonna fight uh, Floyd and and May? We'll probably be in line to fight Floyd in the May and September. So if he can win, if he can win that fight, I mean, he got a good chance of waiting for the WBC title. And you know, they they uh, he's fighting an eliminator for the title because they could possibly have it. So he, I mean, he got plenty of options. He got a lot of options. He just needs to stop signing every contract he likes. <laughs> yeah. Well, what up, man? They can't ever get tired of that. They can't ever sign a contract. He ain't like He's like Manny Pacquiao. That's all he do is sign a contract. <laughs> <laughs> For real, that's all I ain't do. All I ain't do is sign a contract. Sure. For real. That's all he do, man. I got a million one text last night about the same thing all he man. <laughs> Yeah, the other dude, uh, this guy up here, uh, another guy up here called himself the soft sniper. He wanted to know what gym in Philly, like, man, what gym should he go and work out at in Philly? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they wanted me to ask you, what gym should they work out at in Philly? Uh, uh, heavy hitters, uh, well, I even go to heavy hitters, um, I even go to Shula, or sometimes I may go to Danny Gym, Hearthstone, every now and then. It all depends, like, but my main gym, no, my main gym is Shuler, but I don't really go too much to Shuler no more, I go to uh, Longcrest, uh, uh, Heavy Hitter. 